Hello and welcome back to Warframes Revisited. Today we're going to visit the second guy I actually, well, technically the first guy I built, but the second Warframe that I had. Uh, this is Ash. Now, I was thinking about doing this a bit different, like do it in part of the, the whole modding weapons, but I thought, no, we'll start this one instead. But we had to start with Excalibur, and it was mainly to do this guy and Frost. Uh, as I said in the last uh, video, yes, my uh, Sentinel is glitched. He's still level 22, and his weapon is still 28. That's not really true, because the weapon went 30 days ago, but then somehow ended up back at 28, and the Sentinel, that has not moved in about 3 days. So... Getting a bit annoyed with the Sentinel at the minute, so we'll probably take him off. But Ash, you can get Ash from from here. This is Uranus, and that is... I want to say Ty Rigor, but it's Tile. Well, I don't know how the hell you pronounce that, unfortunately. But he's not that hard to kill. They did change it from when we built it. Now you've got to go uh, from Mercury through Venus, through Earth, through Saturn. I mean, that's one, two, three different Warframes you can build along the way. But Ash was our first build, and it was loads of fun. Hence the reason we were holding that weapon in my hand. The Gorgon, because the Gorgon is the weapon we levelled up with Ash while trying to form for Frost. Which we will probably do next time. Because as I say, I'm going to try and do these in the order I built them in. Uh, after Frost, I get lost because I can't remember, I'll have to look that up. But, with 450 health, 300 shields, and this time definitely 65 armor, look it says so right there. And again, 150 power. It is a little bit better than, um, I was going to say Amber, <laughs> than Excalibur was. Because he has an 150 extra health, but it's his abilities that kick butt. Mind you, once you put all the uh, health and shield mods in, uh, 1,110 health. 740 shields. We did leave the uh, armor as the same, because originally it was 50. It got uh, a boost a while back. Uh, sometime between update 11 and 12, they basically boosted everybody's shields. And 300 power, so he does become really beastly. And again, this guy does not have a single uh, former in him. Apart from the standard polarities, I have not added any. Uh, shuriken throws things. Smokescreen makes you invisible. Teleport, you can teleport to somebody. And Bladestorm has been reworked three times since we originally did this. Hence the reason we thought, ah, we'll go back and do these again. As you can see, no stars, so has not been formatted. So it comes with the four abilities on the outside. Two Vs, which with this guy is a bit better because the duration and intensify, I got it right this time, do go well in him. Duration means your uh, invisibility works a bit better, and the intensify, which used to be focus, means your blade storm will kill a lot of things, as well as your other abilities. I actually got wrong while farming Frost for not using all this guy, any of this guy's abilities, to be honest. And obviously it came with a V uh, aura slot, which yeah, the V isn't really that good. You can fit basically rifle amp or steel charge. We went for rifle amp. Steel charge would have given them four extra points though. Now, this is one of the few Warframes I've kept all the abilities on, and they are actually maxed. Um, intensify and continuity, which is power duration and power strength, obviously also maxed. And then we dropped in max health, max shields. Didn't leave much left over, to be honest. And obviously all of these I've gone back and reworked, tweaked them a little bit since they added the aura slots. Before that was there, this build was not possible. Because obviously it'd be 14 points down, which is basically the entire shield mod. And then obviously we added Floor for the power. Rush is missing its last upgrade slot only because we don't have any points left. If we format this guy once we'll gain 7 points just by doing one depolarity 
so it'll redirection in it'll half the amount it'll only be taking up seven but we only need one point so it wasn't worth doing because this guy is powerful as hell just from this mod this one makes it last longer that one makes it uh, just insane streamline would have been nice but I like keeping my abilities okay so a simple rundown of his abilities are pretty easy his first one shuriken basically does exactly what it says throws ninja stars wherever you're looking three of them by the looks of it the second ability which we are going to try and do here is it is smokescreen isn't it yep this is actually a useful ability for getting the stealth scans or the stealth kills in this is backfired pretty badly because it's about to expire and we have a guy well left ah shit god damn it stop it oh screw it <laughs> it was being a pain in the butt I was trying to hold it in to uh, charge the weapon but it was having none of it Oh, now teleport is a pretty useful ability. Why am I on fire here, please? Basically, it does exactly what it says. You can teleport to an enemy. It is better used in conjunction with a smoke screen, though, because you just appear on people, and they don't know where you are. This is why I say this guy is definitely better than Excalibur. But then again, Excalibur is a starting frame. Tell me that wasn't what I think it was. Damn balls. This is not ending nicely for me. This is also why fitting Streamline would have been great, but it would mean having to get rid of one of the abilities. And that smoke off the arm looks cool. It really does. I would do the, uh, what is it, the Ash is not amused stance, but um, I completely forgot about equipping it. <laughs> this noble stance, I think it is. Now, I will bring you back when we get to where we're heading. Oh, damn it. Okay, so this is Bladestorm. It basically teleports from enemy to enemy. That acts, actually, the uh, smoke screen ran out just well there. And this can go on for a fixed number of enemies, uh, up to a certain range. It will not continue on forever. If new enemies come within that range, they are not included. Oh, I take it that's the opening video for the enemy we are about to face. This is the guy you actually get this from, and I am getting pretty sick of being fished by people. And notice the sentinel, still 22. Ah, no. Slice, 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 slice. Death by Ash ability. Hell yeah. And I think the Sentinel even managed to get a scan in there as well. Ah, damn it, I'm being stuck back. So, we'll leave this off here for now. Next time we will do Frost. That is a whole different uh, ball game, to be honest, because... Uh, as a lot of people know, I have used Frost a lot. Uh, he's not exactly as he used to be anymore. So, he is heavily format. And I think we will even take on... Oh, God, Mero. Is it Mero? The mission? Because I forgot the guy's name. <laughs> ah, Krill. And it's a female. Krill is a woman. Because the Krill, before it was changed, was basically there's a female Grenier with a sniper rifle. So we will go and take on Krill when we do Frost. That will be next time. Is that... It is. Why is it broken? Hmm, that's weird. But anyway, we will leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.